Hello and welcome to the Data Explorer's daily video update. So the earnings season seems to be drawing to a close, however there are still a few key names due to announce earnings over the next couple of weeks. Today we're going to have a look at those companies um, announcing earnings this week and in which we see uh, uh, interesting securities lending trends. So the jewellery sector, like most other sectors, was hit over the recession. However, consumer demand seems to be picking up over the last few months um, and this threat now seems to be receding. However, there is still a, there's now a next wave of threat um, coming along, which is the increase of um, commodity prices, and we're still yet to see how this will affect the sector. So let's have a look at Tiffany & Co. Um, they, last week, their share price actually hit a 52-week high. Um, over on the short side of the market, short interest is now off um, record highs that were recorded back in October um, at about 15%, and the current level now stands at about 13%. Utilisation in the stock, which is the lendable supply, which is currently out on loan, is currently at about 33%. Moving over to Zale, a mid-tier rival of Tiffany's, um, they've actually had quite a bullish outlook over the last six months or so. Share price has been rallying and short interest has been falling down uh, from 20% to 9% since May. Utilisation again in the stock is still quite high, um, about of the th a third of the lendable supply is currently out on loan. Now let's move over completely to a different sector and have a look at Campbell Soup. They'll be announcing first quarter earnings um, for 2011 on Tuesday. They degraded their full year forecasts earlier this month, um, but did increase their dividend payout by about 5% reported last week. Share price has still, however, been falling, um, and it's interesting to have a look at what the share, a short interest has been doing over the past year. Short interest has been increasing and is up from 1% to 6% over the year. Um, looking at lendable quantity, this has been relatively steady over the year. However, we have seen a slight fall since August, down from 44 million shares to now 38 million shares. This is another company which is seeing a high proportion of their lendable supply out on loan. Uh, the figure currently stands at about 35%. Finally, let's have a look at Delarue. Um, Delarue has been plagued by ba bad publicity since July, which is when it lost its contract to print banknotes um, for India. They'll be announcing interim 2010 and 2011 um, earnings this week. And let's have a look at their short interest. Short interest has been quite sporadic. We've seen two spikes um, since August in short selling, um, up from 4 to 7% over the month of August, um, which then tumbled down to 3%. October then again saw another peak uh, where short interest went up from 3 to 4.5%, um, but short sellers have since covered their positions and we're now down to a current figure of 2.8%. Lendable quantity has been relatively flat and we see an average of institutional ownership of at about 16 million shares over the year. That's all for now. To read the full report, please go to www.dataexplorers.com forward slash news. Thank you for listening and have a great day.